Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, humans. Retro Rocket Man back again with another Titan Hero Series Custom. This time, Iron Man. These are your typical 12 inch scale action figures and it's a very basic version of Iron Man and as you can see he's got no uh, paint or very little paint detail. A while back I already did a, uh, a custom paint on this particular figure and uh, this time around I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to experiment and make up my own colour schemes. I'm going to make him look at look like he's an antique. With the previous version I did, he's, he's the classic gold, red and silver version. Many uh, typical of what you might find in the um, cinematic universe. Although I didn't strictly adhere to any particular uh, version of, of him, I just sort of made up these colour schemes as I went along. So I'm going to do the same again today. So he's your basic Iron Man figure from, from the Titan Hero series. He's got uh, basic articulation. He has a swivel and tilt head articulation at the shoulders only. This particular one is quite loose. And on the wrists, his, his hands will swivel 360 degrees. And just basic hip forward and not back at all no knees or ankle articulation whatsoever. So a very basic figure. So I'm going to have a go at repainting him. First up, I'm going to want to give him a undercoat. Just basically all over primer, which prepares him for the first color coat or base coat if you like. And this is going to be just a chrome silver all over. Just make sure that you do this outside if you're having a go at yourself because you need good ventilation for this process. That goes without saying, I'm sure. So now he looks quite metallic, no more flat boring red plastic. So the next step is to give him an all over wash with black shoe polish. This process will bring out all the line, line work and panel work in, in the uh, figure and also give him a tarnish look, making him look, look a little bit less like it's brand new and a little bit more antiqued. Uh, once that's dried, it's time to remove the excess with a, a damp, soft, non-scratching scour sponge. This will take off a lot of the surface uh, shoe polish and leave, leave it in the, uh, in the lines and panel work. It makes him stand out. So it doesn't take too much heavy scrubbing, it's just a light, wet approach. And it comes off relatively easy. You just want to be careful you don't go too harsh and start taking off your paintwork. That's why you would want a non-scratching scouring sponge. Now you might want to just stop at this stage because he looks quite good as he is but I'm going to take it a couple of steps further and um, try some experiments. Now I want to create some more contrast so I'm using brown shoe polish in certain areas of the Iron Man suit just to create contrast and next up is metallic eyeshadow just to uh, taint the uh, silver areas in not all of them just here and there I'm making up this up as I go along and as you can see it just gives the, uh, the suit a different kind of look 
you can do this as little or as much as you like. It all comes down to personal taste. Basically just rubbing it on with my finger and it stains the plastic straight away. And with that metallic property to the eyeshadow, it um, actually complements the Iron Man suit. So basically I'm going to be going for a, a rustic washed out look and eventually I'll remove a bit more of the uh, brown shoe polish to give it a rustic distressed feel. painting the arc reactor to make that um, stand out as well and lastly the eyes just basic white acrylic with a clear gloss over the top So there you have it humans, that's um, my antiquated look on Iron Man. It's a custom so it's my own uh, version and I'm quite happy with the way this turned out. He's different, he certainly looks like he's been stored away for a long long time, almost has a steampunk feel about him. So here he is side by side with uh, my previous incarnation. Exactly the same figure, but two massively different looks. And in my opinion, they complement each other. They look quite good standing next to each other. Almost like a before and after. So from a basic plastic figure to something that's uh, much more displayable. So anyway, humans, this is Retro Rocket Man. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Over and out.